So now that you've learned card counting, ace tracking, bankroll management, basic strategy, what's left? Pushing the edges. Pushing the edges, for those of you that don't know, is when you take the math from one side of the math and you put it on the other. And sometimes it helps you and sometimes it hurts you. But you got to know when it is that you're doing it. So pushing the edges. Say you have a hand like ace two on a dealer five. Ace two on a dealer five is a double. Ace two on a dealer six is a double. But ace two on a dealer four is simply a hit. Okay. That's pushing the edges where the color changes right here on the blackjack strategy card, okay? So, it makes sense to do it, but you got to know why you're doing it. If you're playing catch-up, then it makes sense to do it, okay? Or sometimes you're feeling lucky. It makes sense to do it. It's only a few percentages point one way versus the other. And blackjack is very circumstantial, just like when you're playing poker and you've got a 35% chance to hitting that flush with two cards to come. Sometimes you'll hit it, sometimes you won't. You were only 35% to win that hand, but you will win it. Pushing the edges means going against the math ever so slightly, and sometimes it could be advantageous. All right, we're going to play a hand, players, and uh, put your guesses in the chat as to what you think the proper strategy is when you have blackjack. And the dealer has, let's just say I have an ace and the dealer has, sorry, I have an ace and the player has blackjack. Do you take even money? Or do you wait to check, see if the dealer has blackjack? Yes or no in the comments.